As you know from first section, every processor has inner memory, and in this memory, registers live. We already know four of those. Historic processors such as AD51 had only one register like this, and that was the accumulator. Later there were added other registers. The letter E at the beginning of name says that this register is 32 bits. Without this E character, we would get 16 bits registers. But we still use the same register, only without E we are using only part of that. Other two registers that we can use are ESI and EDI. These registers used to be used for indexing. SI stands for source index and DI for destination index. We can also access lower two bytes of these registers by removing the E letter. But we cannot split these registers into bytes like AL or AH. This is not possible with these two. Another two registers are EBO and ESP. These have same properties, but they are used for different purpose. So, we should not use them for common computing. I will talk more about these later on. Lastly, I want to mention two system registers. In register EIP is stored address of currently executed code. It increments as processor evaluates instructions. Or it can be changed when function is called or something like that. But we cannot directly access or read this register using for example move but we can change its value with conditional and unconditional jumps and last register is the flags this register contains flag information i will talk about that later on also for different types of operations are used different registers. It is not necessary, but it makes the code more clear. So when you are working with registers, keep this in mind. When copying a block of memory, use ESI as a pointer for reading and EDI as a pointer for writing. Also, you can use EBX if necessary. If your function have no local variables, nor input parameters. You can use as a fourth register EBP. For indexing arrays, use EBX. Mostly, you will be adding ESI to EBX or EDI to EBX. For any other operation that doesn't involve working with memory, use these registers as last option. As a counter in cycles, use ECX. For more cycles, use ECX for the inner cycle and any other registers for outer cycle. For mathematic operation, use EAX and as an alternative, you can use EDX. If you are working only with bytes, for example, car data type, don't be afraid to use part of register, that way you save yourself whole register. You can use variables only if all your registers are full. And with that being said, I will see you next time.